I mean, eights, he had outs. Yeah. So that, that was definitely an early concession. Hopefully he didn't think that we were griefing him by taking so much time thinking about everything. Um, I, I don't know what what was going through his head. Anyways, um, we'll, we'll take, we'll take however that however we can. That's, that's uh, so our opponent is on the play again. We are not going to mulligan. Uh, let's go ahead and F6 through his turn. And get our mountains and out. lead with and, mountains. Yeah, yeah so um, for those of you... Um, who have been paying attention. Uh, Joe likes to lead the mountains first, the plains if he has to, and then really wait on and then play a forest after that and really wait on the islands and the swamps. There are big swamp walkers and big island walkers, yeah. and you don't want to open yourself up to, you know, getting serpented or, you know, yeah. bog wraithed. There are a fair number of forest walkers, too. I and, mean, like, you're mostly safe after the four drops uh, for, for forest walk. Um, but there, there is Jedid Ojanan of uh, Afrava, um, which is like a 6-6 six, six forest walk that makes 2-2 two, two forest walking elves whenever it attacks, and it's just crazy. Yeah, so we've uh, summoned a 1-2 that doesn't do much, and then a, and then a bear is here. Yeah. Um, he skipped his 2 and his 3, uh, which is fine. Yeah. Uh yeah, Colorado Claw is just a gray ogre. Oh, uh, look, it's our friend Walking Wall. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we won't walk into... So Walking Wall is an 06 wall. Uh, you can pay th he can pay 3 and get plus 3, minus 1 on the wall. And uh, in a previous match, we did not bother to read any of that text, and a guy got eaten. Oh, so we got the Bull Hippo 3-3 three, three Island Walk. Um, hasn't played any islands yet, but, uh, you know... It's pretty funny flavor it's, text. It's uh, pretty funny. Let's see what it is. Hey, how can you not hear it approach? It's a hippo. Um, I like the hippos. I think uh, I, I like hippogriffs. I like feldegriff. I think tri tribe hippo needs to see some more love. Yeah. Uh, is it playable in tribal wars online? I'm not sure. Target land becomes a basic land type of your choice until end of turn. Yeah. So you know that could get his uh, his walkers in, despite our mountain, mountain, mountain planes play here yeah uh so at this point like we don't really have any profitable attacks so we're just gonna go ahead and pass the turn we got genesis um which is a 4-4 you know, guy when he's in your graveyard but uh is it you know it's just 4-4 four, four guys matt points out um in momir um you know and so we've we've just got a plain old creature, creature stall here um, and we're going to see who gets the first flyer or something else to break it. Uh, so he gets Mistform, Mutant, uh, one in a blue, choose a creature type other than wall, target creature becomes that type until end of turn. So you, he's he's getting some activated abilities that we really need to pay attention to, you know, not really, but like, you know, should pay attention to. Yeah. Um, There's some corner cases that they might become relevant in. Um, but... So. As Joe said, just a you know, very classic creature stall. No one really got anything, you know, absolutely insane. Uh, we get a 3-3 three, three flyer here, uh, which hopefully we'll be able to get in. Yeah. And we'll start uh, breaking this ground stall. So we, we got Glarecaster, who's actually a very, very good drop. Um, so in addition to being a 3-3 three, three flyer, um, he, can, he can basically redirect damage that would be dealt to him or to you, the player, uh, to another creature. Um, so he's very hard to block. Let's see, and he gets uh, he gets a four five uh, with basically death touch, um, and uh, he will have lure as soon as he gets threshold. So that's yeah. awkward. Stone tongue basilisk is a good one. Uh, so we definitely need to kill him before he gets that online. Um, <laughs> mm. Yeah, three power. Well, hmm. I actually the glare caster gives us outs to him. Uh, so ch -ch -ch, let's go ahead and continue on with our domain theme. Yep, go on with the normal plan. Once again, you know he hasn't, he didn't get a sweet six serpent or something. We're pretty safe to play an island. There's you know there's an eight that's pretty bad. Um, yeah. So, um, you know it, when we hit the glare caster, our our plan was just beat him with glare caster which is going to be a slow clock um but now we got moss Bit bridge troll on our uh on our seven drop which is effectively the best for our opponent so moss bridge troll 
regenerates whenever regenerates for free um, at any time without you having to like pay ability pay for it um, and it's a five five uh, but it has an activated ability that if you tap 10 power worth of creatures which conveniently we have with our dirtles here um, he gets plus 20 plus 20 so we're going to start attacking in with him and our opponent is going to have to block every turn yep um, and it's going to be really awkward for him uh, so uh, patron of the orky doesn't really change the board that much um, I mean like it's it's a 7-7 seven, seven, um, but our opponent doesn't have any forests um, so it's not super relevant let's wrath uh, ourselves here it'll be great <laughs> Oh, uh, it's we the good one again. Well. Yeah, uh, so we're, we've hit very good sixes, sevens, and eights. Um, so at this point, like, our opponent has to block Moss Bridge Troll, because if he doesn't, we just 25 him with it. Right. Um, and it doesn't have Trample. It doesn't have Trample. If it had Trample, it would be insane. Um, so, like, he'll he'll probably block with Walking Wall, maybe with C-Snit. If he blocks with Patron, right, then, and forces us to tap down a bit, I mean, that's, that's pretty loose. Yeah. Um, and like we get, we, I don't even know what we tap. Okay, so he's blocking with wa walking wall here. Yeah. Uh, are we gonna, we're gonna, not gonna jack him up? Because we don't get to eat the wall there. Oh, that's true. Oops. Let's say we had done that correctly. We, yeah. we, do we, we tap, uh, we tap, uh, you know, what, what do you, what do you, what do you want to tap there? You tap the um, avatar to get most of it out of the way, or do you just tap all the little guys and let him swing at us for a little bit of damage? I think, I think we tap avatar, bull hippo, and bogart sprite. That way we have a collar of the claw, a chump, and a genesis that keeps him attacking from attacking with his threes. Sure. Um, but that that was that was subpar. Okay, Tika's dragon. It's a five-five uh, flying trample rampage four, um, and it also counts as a dragon if yep. you read the original text. Yep, yep. Well, and you can see right here on the type line artifact creature that's, dragon. That's new. That was after the typification. Come on. Uh, I mean, like it, it, it clearly reads that uh, here. And man just scoops. Yeah. So again, a premature scoop from our opponent. Like we we are going to wreck him with avatar of woe here, um, and presumably we'll be smart enough to you know not get blocked by walking wall constantly um but you know he he definitely had outs um you know so there's there's another game um an, there it know, is another bonus to playing in the momir queues sometimes you get opponents that just scoop to you or you know make plays that are essentially scooping to you um so you know it can in addition to being a lot of fun it can be a decent way to just grind out some packs yep um, so as you can see, you know, on, on video, we're, we're 4-0 now, uh, and we, we had that one that we missed, so we're, we're effectively 5-0, right. um, and, like, we haven't been cherry-picking these, they just are the ones that we play. All right. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in, uh, and we'll see you next time. Take care.